today's session most probably I am not sure because maybe in this semester I may have to take two papers one one is the paper MLCC05 that is the socio-economic foundation of information and second one is the statistics there is a fourth one that is MLCC08 I mean Valoi Yachi Sir Kamunachin very good I am well no issues having fine being and already got that one everything so it's okay it's good going so what I am telling you so might be I have to take so first one is first paper is socio-economic foundation of information the first paper and apart from that most probably I am taking your eight uh, eight paper also that is MLCC 08 statistical package or rather the statistics and statistical packages and MB will be taking that one that is the second paper and third one taken by Topo. So we are starting with the first one that is the socio-economic foundation of information. I already uploaded the syllabus as well as your class routine. So I shall try to be uh, in time because today also I had, because I do not know, I made this uh, routine by in consultation with other faculties but somehow right now I am seeing this one that is on Friday itself I am having three classes not three rather four classes of MLIs so two classes at the beginning that is 10 30 to uh, 1 30 three classes and another two classes at the end so however we have to adjust because this is the truncated syllabus so we are not having that much of detail in it but today uh, we are starting with the first one and uh, let me let me uh, present the slide so that you can have some understanding of it so entire screen i'm showing you so share sweetie is here Okay. Now I'm sharing everyone. And are you getting anything? So, any presentation you are getting? Yes, sir. Okay. You are getting the names of the people no okay fine gc pande manisha limbu this thing we are getting okay now mm -hmm. i am fine okay now see i think most probably right now you are getting this one that is the first topic information generation and different modes of information so this one information generation now there is a catch with this deliberation the information it's having and then the concept of generation and then the Modes. So first thing is that information, that is what is information, the first and most important thing is the information. So you can say that one information is the communicable data or the data 
which can be conceived by the recipient, the data having the interrelationship, having the interconnectivity, having the value added, and with that value addition, whenever the recipient is receiving that one, and this gets decoded in the recipient's channel, recipient's end, we can say that one, so it is like taking the shape of information. Now, information generation. So now this thing is very important, information generation. Whenever we are defining information, at the same time, we need to distinguish the inner intricacies of information generation and at the same time information. But now information generation, if we uh, do not ponder very seriously or if we take that one in general uh, the broader sense so we can say that one information generation can be done or may be done usually been done information generation is is manifested in two different processes one is the spontaneity spontaneous one and another one is the induced one, induced one, or rather, someone is there. Who is there? Ritu Paul. That's why other fellow is there. Now see from present from this one. No, see. So what I was saying you generation of information and generation of information can be of two types. One is the spontaneous generation. And second one is the induced information generation. Now, this spontaneous information generation, this spontaneous information generation might have some bit of ambiguity involved therein. The spontaneity is uh, uh, can be it's not induced, but it can be a kind of reflexive enough also. See, suppose I am asking you something, and you immediately stated something, and might be that is also generating information but here the spontaneous spontaneity is not i'm talking about in that sense there is a spontaneous information generation you can define this one you can say this one as this is a kind of natural natural information generation the information generated by the nature information generated by the mother art information generated in such a way where the human intervention is not needed that is what the spontaneous information generation I am talking of. It is not like that. Whenever I am asking you some question and you immediately answer something, might be that is not the pertinent answer, but still it is giving something, some information. So that is also a kind of spontaneous information, but I am not talking about that spontaneity. I am just talking about that one. That is this information, the spontaneity, or rather you can say that one, the natural information. The information which is generated by the mother nature, the information where the human intervention is not at all required, that particular one is considered as the spontaneous information. As for example, you can, I can say like that one, see, uh, suppose uh, information. So whenever you got that one, the yesterday was very cloudy. You know that one, yesterday was very cloudy and in Shiluguri, there was rather a kind of very, very extreme storm as well as the rainfalls. So whenever you got that one, the cloudy sky, then the storm, then the earthquake. So these are also the information. And you know, before earthquake, 
you know that one the creatures living under the surface they usually get that information and whenever you see that one all of them are coming up and at the same time making screams so you will apprehend that one uh, something is going to happen so this is what is known as the spontaneous information or as for example whenever you will see too much of sunlight in the very morning we are predicting that one in the noon at, at, at noon or at the afternoon what might be the temperature so this is what with this thing we do not have that much of uh, intervention like that so human intervention is very reduced there you can say that one that is uh, deforestation is the cause of it but that is something different so you cannot reduce the sunlight you cannot increase the sunlight so in that way that so it is rather having its own pace of generation of information it is having its own attribute of information generation so this is one type of information generation that we have to categorize that is known as the spontaneous or natural that is generated as its own so a kind of spontaneous information generation. so information generation is a kind of thing so where you can divide that one where intervention is not required human intervention and second one is the induced one and in this intervention or in this perspective or in this mode of information generation we are generating information of the human beings or the machines and machines are also nothing but the creation of the human beings or humanity human element so we created the machine and that's why we are the generators we ourselves can generate information directly or we can generate information indirectly with the help of machines so now whenever you are generating information Suppose take the example of computer or take the example of typewriter. So whenever you are using the typewriter and you are rather typing, you are generating information. Although the information is rather being gathered in your brain, in your, in the, from the test seat, you are rather replicating that one. Uh, you are transferring that one, transforming that one to uh, the explicit. But that particular machine is uh, typing those letters spaces everything and one structured information is generated that is what the human intervention now whenever you are generating information uh, through computer that is also that machine generated information and at the same time whenever one computer is actually giving you giving you um, some kind of solution of a particular problem with the help of artificial intelligence this is also the generation of information but here also human is involved because the program that is fed to that computer is nothing but the development by human mind and at the same time we are generating information of our own we are generating information in the form of articles so we are generating form by writing we are generating information by drawing we are generating information by saying something that is the oral information and by communicating with one another by using the different signs so we are generating information the human being they are generating information by using different types of modes and that's why some information so in general information is generated either by the nature itself or by human element human element <clears throat> now you can say that one apart from human element isn't that the other animals also generating information yes but we are concerned with the information generation by the human com com human human community or human society so that's why we are bothering about that one but at the same time all animate things they are rather generating information of their own either you can decode this decode this one or not that is the problem so they are generating information the ants are generating the information the bees are generating information 
so the mammals starting from protozoa to the mammalia all the animate things even the trees they are also generating information but they are generating information but to understand that information to grab that information you must have to have the right decoder by which you can decode the very message embedded in that information and that is the most important thing so with this one so we stated that thing that is the generation is this is the induced induced means where external interaction is there for developing information generating information and this generation of information this induced generation of information this is having a very specific pattern now this generation of information this induced generation this generation is not circular the path is not this generation path is not circular it's not like that so whenever so we are talking about induced okay now it's not a circular path because you see why it is not circular path it is rather this is the circular one and we can say that one this is what this is s this is just like that although i am rather drawing that one in left side but in anti clockwise but this can be the clockwise models like this so that's for why it is also known as information generation spiral so this is known as information generation information generation spiral now why this spiral now see at any point of at any point of information generation suppose you are here you are here or rather you are here so here whenever you are generating information so information was first information was there so the more information that are being generated it is not close closing the previous information it is rather extending the previous information and almost all the times the knowledge domain or information domain is enriched with the newly generated information and the previously generated information is kept as it is as just like a kind of historical information so it stays over there information is historical information so it stays over there as for example you see i can say you once upon a time churches they declared that one the sun revolves around the earth but later it was proved that one they were utterly wrong but what copernicus did that is right now you can say that one that is the earth moves around the sun so now you see although two information is generated and one inter information is rather the counter information of the other but both the information is there so one information is already hidden here as the historical information and the contemporary information bypassed it it is not overlapping it it extended that information so that information is also there and at the same time new information is there so each and every time whenever you are developing a new information as for example suppose here you studied one article on information generation and after studying that article and rather after hearing my lecture so you thought something of your own and once you thought that one and you publish that one here so suppose published or rather delivered a lecture and you denied all the things that were all that has already been written 
that have already been reflected in the existing literature as well as my um, deliberations. So this is something new you are saying, but you are saying that one. They try to say that one, but I do not think that is right now relevant. So this is the thing. So now previously information was there, right now information is there. So this is point one, this is point two. Now someone is taking your thing and saying something new. So this is information three. And by this way, you will see that one. Here, the information might be eighth or ninth stage. So all this information is there. But whenever you will try to make the body of this information, you must have to touch all these nodes of information. This is the historical development. So that is how the information is generated. So information is generated in such a way each and every time the information that is generated, it is bypassing or it is crossing the existing information and it is extending, proliferating the existing knowledge domain a little bit, a little bit, might be in a very, very teeny development. It is extending the existing domain. So by this way, if, if you draw it graphically, you will see that one. This is not a circular path here. The beginning and closing points are not overlapping. Rather, it is crossing and it is rather making a cycle. So this is the perspective of generation of information and the concept of information generation spiral or information generation spiral or information development spiral. So this is what is the first thing regarding generation of information. Now we are going for that one. So modes of information generation that is how we can generate information and most of the times these information generation so here all these things these are rather given as the information generation mode uh, and highlighted thing. These are the induced information generation. Okay. The induced information generation, all these things are induced one. That is, human intervention is there. Now, what are these? So, how we can generate information? What are different modes of information generation? One thing is observation. Okay. And can you tell me that is the very example of observation for generation of information mode? It is actually, you see, I can give you the real example. COVID-19. Let's see why COVID-19? See, previously, whenever in the last year, whenever we got that one COVID, we got that one. This is one virus came from China, and that is what the first virus. The, the first virus means previously unknown and a very, very, very uncommon one, although having some bit of relationship with the SARS uh, virus but it is a kind of newer strain of that one. Now, almost all the labs, international as well as the national labs, started observing the pattern of this virus and they identified the protein layers, they identified the DNAs, they identified everything. So constant observation is going on and new information is coming up and that information was being transmitted to different labs and ultimately you will see lot of lot of vaccines have already been developed although you can say that one most of the vaccines are not um, trialed um, extremely or is not a totally totally foolproof one but still people identified the core and identified the structure and then they are they started giving you the information that is how you can pro protect yourself from this one that is this coronavirus is something like that 
it cannot transmit that one more than more than six feet it can only go wherever someone if it can it can someone sneezes someone coughs so if you put mask then obviously you can carve it much more so better way you have to wash your hand almost all the time most of the times you have to use the sanitizer so how the you see the scientists or the doctors were able to say that one this is obviously the observation mode the more observation you are doing and right now the latest time we are saying that one the third strain is coming third strain of this one and for which we do not have any information at all so observation has already been started and might be you will be getting more information regarding that one. so observation so we generate information through observation now here one thing i must say that is if you just observe but if you don't say anything believe me that is not information generation suppose someone is just only observing each and every day you are seeing one individual standing in front of his house actually front gate just watching each and every individual passing by that road and at the evening he just enters in his room or enters in his house what is the point of this observation he is just observing each and everybody every day but no such outcome nothing so this type of observation has no meaning so whenever you are talking about modes of information generation all these modes must be recorded somewhere in some form either printed or documented or recorded somewhere it must have its own manifestation then only you can understand that mode has generated information and you can also do the same process of generating more information further information finer information from those observations or those modes that's why you must have to use the you must have to produce the explicit information not the implicit one so you are just seeing but you are not saying so you have to say otherwise information will not be generated so second one is the thought process now see thought process you know this one thought process is the uh, a you know we have a people the creative fellows we say creativity we talk about the writers painters everyone and even you whenever you write whenever you are thinking whenever you are listening to me at the same time whenever you are thinking your thought process is going on each and every term i am uttering each and every sound i am making each and every line i am rather uttering you are processing that one you are trying to trying to understand the meaning embedded therein and you are trying to match that one with your already existent idea and with that one you are structuring your information so information you are structuring your thought process and ultimately if i ask you say something so what i told you say something we will always you will see that one you will say something of your own without narrating the whole thing what i already stated so that is what your thought process provoked you to think in such a way you identified the core things core words core core concepts and you uh, conglomerated you amalgamated you um, Con you conjugated each and everything in a single structure and you were saying that one and that is the thought process and you know development of writing one article writing one book or thinking something developing a theory developing a new idea new model everything this is nothing but the outcome of the thought process okay so next one someone is there as well let me see this thing
Now we'll see you again from this slide. So now the third one is the deliberation. That what I am right now doing, saying something, giving you the explanation, using the thought process, better observe something you need and delivering that one imagining something while delivering so choosing the words and by this way communicate so everyone whenever anyone is delivering uh, all these processes are going on at a single point of time and you are delivering you are making the analogies you are giving the examples so deliberation this is also some kind of information generation one kind of information generation uh, this thing is impromptu information generation. So each and every time you are taking some bit of liberty to make some analogy with the object and uh, trying to relate two ideas, two or more ideas together. So by giving the deliberation, the oral lectures. So these are the one mode of information generation. Then imagination. This is what is for the human society is so developed because this is what you okay okay not this one that is you can imagine and as you can imagine so you can create and as you can create you are superior to other animals so the imagination okay then experimentation you know that experimentation observation and experimentation in experimentation you are doing something but you do not observe in that time because after experimentation observation is coming so experimentation is nothing but uh, doing something for generating information so whenever you are uh, practically doing something in the labs or doing something outside the labs or going for some kind of longitudinal research or the action research or the tracer studies or in anthropological studies uh, you are going for that one like that experimentation you see the Japanese adrenovirus is used for making Covishield and then this Covishield is either administered in the human body first first like inferior animals then the experimentation was going on and ultimately whenever you saw that one, the result is fine. You are leaping to the next step. So by this one, one after another, you are going to that one. And after that, you got the certification. That is for restricted use, you can use this one. So this is the experimentation by which you can generate information. Processing of data, you can process the data by using machines as well as by your mind. Processing of data and events so modes of generation of events so earthquake and if earthquake is doing some havoc you know that one what to do next so by the events you learn something at the same time you try to develop some new information evolution 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 that is the development of a race evolution evolution is sequence that is right now you see if um, one day you will see that one no boat is available in the market or no fish is available in the market and if every these two things gets extinct from the earth you will be accustomed with that one to take veg so this is what the evolution and your evolution will be as like as the cattle's. 
So human beings will also be the cattle. So no, actually not like that. I'm not saying that you, you people will be the cattle. But actually this is the evaluation. Evolution. Not evaluation. Evolution. Evolution in that sense, the human body was is not able to produce their own food like the trees can. So just for that one, human beings become much more stronger and trickier because you have to find out food as you have the scarcity of that one in your body. You have that shortcoming and that is why human beings are so cunning because they need to get the food from the nature by any means. So this is what the evolution dream. If many people got many idea in dream, not that you are actually getting the a clairvoyance or rather the call of the God. It is not like that. A dream is something, is information, new information. Suppose you are thinking about it, about one object and ultimately something came from that one and information generation in selected subjects. So some selected like philosophy, like library and information science, by this way you can check. So in that but subjects also, you will see that one, some new information can be generated. Why? These are in some selected subject. Some subjects are having its own pattern of information generation. As for example, the law, the way law generates information is not same as the other process. So this is how the information is generated and now see the different forms of information. This is the oral form, but I am telling information in sign language, whenever you show your thumb to others, if you show your thumb, whenever your thumb is at the top, you are rather you are saying that one, thumb top of your thumb is a vertical, then it's okay. If the top of your thumb is rather downwards, so it carries a different meaning. Handwritten information and handwritten forms of information. You can write pictorial form. You can draw the pictures, pictorial form. See, one pictorial form I can show you. So the pictorial form of information. What is this? A tree. What is a tree? So you got that one, a tree. So this is the pictorial form. Now you see this, this. I got, I got something bad. But Oh, right now I cannot uh, delete this thing. Just think that one, this is not here. Now what is this? It's a fish. Fish. So this is the pictorial form. So handwritten form. Now see, uh, why? You won't understand this one. This is just like, you see, uh, the doctors or rather you can say that when the pleaders or in the courts, uh, the clerks are there who used to write like this way. So handwritten form. And Tagore's form, you already got that one. Oral form, you know. Sign language. Now you see, whenever you are saying this one, suppose you have, so you are saying this one, this is this. What does it mean? This is victory. Okay, now printed form. So this particular slide is the result of printed form. This particular slide is the result of digitized form. And then the condensed form. Condensed form is what? Where the data is very much integrated. So you got that one GIF file. Do you know? zip file, zip file, a condensed form, coded form, coded form, now you see coded form, A, B,
Now see, this is one information. What is this? Seven two one seven two one one eight two one. What information is this? This is a coded information. Can you tell me what information is this? Anyone? A pin code. Pin code. Who is saying that one? Pin code. Who? Oh. Pin code is supposed to be a single number. But who is saying this one pin code? I can't see you. Who are you? Uh, Anirudh sir. Huh? Sir, there is seven digits. Anirudh. Anirudh. Now see, this is known as this is the Guru Chat Pandey Guru. Why? This seven is rather A B C D E F G. G is the seventh position. And this twenty one is U, G U, R U. So this is G U R. Nothing more, nothing less. Got the point? So this is what is the coded form, yeah. and that's for why I am saying you. Whenever you are making information, that information should be in such a form. That can be decoded by the recipient until and unless it is rather can be decoded by the recipient. So you cannot you cannot go for that one. You cannot and you cannot even identify that one is a real information at all. So this is what is the coded information. Most of the cases coded form of information is required for the secret agencies, militaries. They use this one, simplified form. You know. That is the information. Yes, whenever your information having too much of, uh, you see, information is having too much of jargons, too much of too much of vocabularies, too much of technical thing. So it is rather very much difficult for the people to understand. So simplified form of information is a simple thing. That is what, that is a kind of, you can say that one, that is the, whenever you were writing the simple sentences and whenever you were writing the compound and complex sentences. So with, so that's why it is always stated that one, write in simple sense. So simplified form of that, that is simplified form of information. Just tell that one, this thing, as for example, here, I'm rather drawing lot of things and too much of too many things so and at the same time this one like one a green background then but i could write that on a white background that is simple thing just simplify form in black letter so that will be just a simple form. translated form you know that one translation you know this one that is a kind of uh, from one language to another, translated. So Google Translator is there, you know. Right now, it is very much important for us because almost all the times we, the information science fellows, we were rather in a trouble because we wanted to get information from all the disciplines, sorry, from all the languages. But because of our dearth um, of knowledge in different vocabularies or different languages we couldn't infer that one what is being stated in greece what is rather being stated in russia so article published in greek language greek language articles published in russian languages these we couldn't even even go through so right now google translator is there right now different translating agencies are there so right at present what we can do even one article is written in Russian language, you can translate that one with the help of Google Translator. 
and we can get the essence of it. And that is what a kind of translated form is there. Now, disguised form, this disguised form is one thing. So, one particular type of information where the information that are being communicated is not the direct one, it is having a wrapper in it. As for example, suppose you are going to uh, uh, bring or you are going to bring something uh, that can give you stimuli in the evening. Okay. You are going to the market to bring something that can give you the stimuli. So now, whenever you are outside of, of your house and you are saying that to someone asked you, where are you going? You stated that one, I am going to bring uh, some medicine. So here you see we are communicating. That is, I am going to bring the, some medicine. But actually, you are not going to bring medicine. And so this information is being communicated in a disguise form. So, and see the secondary form. This secondary form, you know that one, information taken from the first hand source and then transferred to the secondary form. And tertiary, taken from first and second both and rather transported to tertiary form. And last, we have the impact of ICT. This ICT has given us more chances to get that one, that is the publication. So, information generation has also become uh, paramount of, in that is, we got a kind of more emphasis or a kind of trust for the, by the impact of IT and the cybermetics, the one electronic journal and virtual forum, they are dealing with this one, this type of work and books and periodicals. So apart from books and periodicals, or so like books and periodicals, right now we are getting so many articles in turning. So obviously uh, you have the different channels of getting the information. And electronic only publication is continually in increasing. This is known as born digital. So born digital information is being the boon of the time. And most of the cases, the documents that are being developed, that are being written by the authors, these are uh, published as a born digital form. So with this, I think, I am rather completing this introductory lecture. So, if you people have any more thing to ask, so you can shoot it to me. Or if you think that one is too much, so I leave. Who is there? Fish. Oh, become gosh. Fish. So, is it okay? Or more thing, or more discussion? Okay, okay sir. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Prashanjit Dad, sir. Okay, sir. Bye, sir. Bye-bye, sir. Bye-bye, sir. <laughs>